Hi, this is Gary with Mac Most Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at Google Reader. So, according to all reports, RSS support in Safari and Mail is going to be going away in Mountain Lion. So, if you've been using them, it's time to look for a new way to read RSS feeds. Now, there are a lot of different apps out there, a lot of different sites out there, but I found one of the simplest ways to keep track of RSS feeds is just to use Google Reader. So if you already have a Google account, say a Gmail account, you can just go to google.com slash reader to go to Google Reader. You already have a Reader account. So it's just a matter then of learning the interface and being able to add RSS feeds that you subscribe to. Now if you already know the address of the RSS feed, you can simply go to subscribe here on the left and then just enter it in. So here's the MacMost RSS feed address. Bring that in and then you can see all the MacMost items. It doesn't look too different than it does using the old Safari functionality. Now you can also use the subscribe button as a search button. So for instance I can type in the name of a news service um, and hit add and it will go and find that service there. I can basically look through the ones that match there. And There's the top stories one and hit the subscribe button. Now on the left here I can see my subscriptions. There's MacMost, there's CNN. And I can just continue to use the subscribe to find other things as well. Now once you subscribe to several feeds you can click on all items over here and simply see a list of all the new news items and all the different feeds that you're looking at. You can also just click on an individual feed here to jump right to it. We've got lots of standard options at the top like for instance how you want to sort uh, the different items that you read. Uh, you can mark things as red um, and you've got different ways of viewing them. So for instance I can view them in a more condensed view like that if I want as well. I can refresh anytime I'm reading it and of course if I want to go into an article I can click on it and it will jump right to the information about that and I can then continue by clicking on it to actually go to the website. So one of the really cool things is that a lot of apps like for instance the uh, News Rack app here has um, integration with Google Reader. A lot of apps actually do this. You can then enter your account, uh, your account name and your password, and then actually view your Google Reader data on an app, and it would sync everything. So if you star something or if you mark something as red, uh, it'll actually be synced between, say, an app you were using and a website. So you have the ability to kind of do your RSS in the cloud, as it were, uh, looking at it at different uh, places like your Mac on the web or using an app. So there's a quick look at Google Reader. Uh, if you want to get a jump start on moving away from using Safari and Mail for RSS feeds, it might be a good idea to start looking into it now. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.